Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Picks. I'm Peter Loshak. This is the uh, NBA Odds Couple Show for Tuesday, May 2nd. Mike Brenner, of course, is joining us remotely uh, from Las Vegas. We just got finished discussing the Utah Golden State uh, series prices, and uh, Mike Brenner believes in Golden State enough to take them uh, on a sweep at pretty significant underdog odds at plus 170. Golden State to sweep Utah plus 170. Game one goes tonight, and of course, game two in uh, Washington, Boston. Mike Brenner, two interesting games, of course. We na- we nailed the Monday games. These two games are looking a little bit uh, trickier to me. Both the Monday games, I like the picks that I had on them. And of course, I went 4-0, you went 3-0. These two games are a little bit tougher. Uh, do you, how do you, how you feel about these two games tonight? Well, first of all, you went 4-0 and I went 3-0. Yes. 7-0, and the odds couple went yesterday. So I hope our viewers are literally grabbing a hold of this and embracing what we do. Pistol Pete, I love it tonight. There's a couple uh, angles that I like. We're going to start out first with Golden State. All right, I'm going to make it official. I want to pull the trigger on the best shop opening market line for the third quarter okay. and also for the game. Is it still available minus 13 on the game? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, Bookmaker has 12.5 minus 115. So we can give you uh, that one. Bookmaker, 12.5 minus 115. Uh, I don't know. I'm thinking that that, that Utah might, uh, you know, I'm not saying Utah is going to win this one, but I'm thinking Utah is going to slow things down and, uh, and, and keep things very modest pace. This might be a tough uh, full game spread for Golden State to cover. Well, I don't think so, and I don't think so at all. They're averaging 112 points in the playoffs thus far. Mm -hmm. Uh, Utah is averaging under 100, and it's all going to come down to coaching, even though Steve Kerr is not going to be on the pine. This team is going to get it done, all right? Mike Brown will step up. He is familiar with this level and at this platform. This team is too tough. They're too deep, Pistol Pete. Head-to-head with you. I love you, my man, but I'm going to take this one. Pull that trigger on the minus 12 and a half. Okay. I want the third quarter. Yeah, we're not really going head-to-head. I'm going to be taking unders here, so it's very possible that we'll both cash. Mike Brenner, you're going to be on uh, Golden State minus 12 and a half, minus 115, and we'll give you Golden State on the third quarter on the market opener. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, the total on the game on the under, 206 and a half, minus 110, and I'm also going to take the pinnacle line for the uh, Golden State team total under, which is 110 minus 113. I think we might see like a 104-87 type game where uh, you know Golden State might get a cover of that big spread and still go under their team total over on the full game go way under so uh we'll see we are not going head to head i'm taking a golden state team total under and the uh the full game under and mike brenner is taking a golden state full game and uh on the uh on the third quarter and then on, on, on game two in washington well, Boston, time out time out pistol pete i gotta cut you off because what i gotta tell you is i like your insight there i like the breakdown and you are total slow shack yeah I, that's a sharp edge i like your spots and it sounds like to me the odds couple could sweep the board again like we did yesterday again fingers crossed but that is a possibility absolutely very very possible. All right. And then, uh, you know, uh, Washington, Boston, we pretty much nailed that one. You had Washington on the first half. I had Washington the first quarter, first half and full game. And I said that uh, I really like Washington to come out early in that one. But uh, but that it later on in this series, uh, their lack of depth is going to hurt them. And even in that game, it appeared like it uh, it hurt them now for game two. I'm not quite sure what I'm thinking here. I'm not sure I'm liking Washington early in this one at all. Also not feeling confident enough to take Boston, though. Do you have anything to say about Washington, Boston game two? I sure do. If I had a cold beer in front of me, I would pop the can because guess what, Pistol Pete? This is one where Brenner sits back and enjoys the game as a fan. Mm-hmm. This is the epitome of a 10-foot pole yeah. for me. I could easily see Washington covering, but also uh, Marky F. Morris is banged up, and that hurts them a lot. So uh, if anything, I'd be leaning Boston here again to get a cover. Five and five and a half, though, a little bit steep, though. John Wall just like Chris Paul can put the game on his shoulders and at least uh, give Washington, make Washington competitive, get a cover of a big spread like that. So I'm agreeing with you, Mike Brenner. I'm going to pass on Washington Boston game two. And uh, Brenner and I both have plays though on Utah Golden State game one. Thanks so much, Mike Brenner. Hopefully we have another sweep tonight and we'll be back tomorrow for the Wednesday games. Hey, we will. And guess what viewers, we're going to have Paulie on tomorrow. New York Paulie. Awesome. Don't miss that. Bet responsible, beat your bookie, and build that bank with the odds couple, Pistol Pete and Brenner at SBR. Sharpest tool in the shed, guys. Let's get it done. Let's pay it forward. We're the odds couple. We're coming to you, baby. Well, this episode of The Odds Couple is over. But if you give us a like and click SBR's logo at the bottom of the screen to subscribe, then you'll get all the upcoming videos as soon as they come out. And don't forget to take advantage of our website. There's free picks, live betting lines, and sportsbook reviews, and ratings guides, and a whole lot more. Check it out now.